What is a one light and what do you do with it? Funny you should ask. I'm Amanda Stevens of Pear Blossom Press and this is a one light. It's basically just a flat little flashlight that you can sandwich between the layers of your handmade cards or scrapbook pages to make them light up. You see that there's a little button down at the bottom, the LEDs at the top. When you push the button, the light turns on. It's only on while you're holding the button. They do come in packs of two, three, or five. So if you're at the store and you're trying to figure out what the difference is, it, it's just how many units are in the package. So check the box at the top and it'll tell you. The lights are all together in the package. Snap them apart. They do come with batteries. So you're going to want to install your battery with the positive side up or the shiny side. You should be able to read the words. When you slide it into the clip, press the button and it works. Now you're ready to install it in a card. Here's a look at a handmade card. I did not seal up the inside of this so I can show you the guts. <laughs> you can see I have taped down my one light inside. I've got a little piece of vellum covering the window where the light will shine through. I'm using double thick foam tape to accommodate the thickness of the battery. And then when I close it up, I mark where to push the button. So let's walk through this real quick. I've got the panel already stamped. I've already cut the hole for the, the window for the light. And you'll notice that the word push is the right distance from the button. So I'm going to line up this panel on my card front, mark with a pencil where the light goes and where I want that button to go. So this way, when I put a little bit of double stick tape on the back of my one light, I can stick it down and use those pencil marks as guides for where to put the light and where to put the button. This way I know it's in just the right spot. Now notice that it's it's a little bit bumpy. Um, we've we've got to accommodate the thickness of that light there. Um, so before we do that, I'm going to put a little vellum over the window, and then I'll grab my double thick foam tape. So double thick. If you don't have double thick, just use two layers of regular thickness because you do want the panel to be flat and and not curved um, because the battery is about three millimeters thick. So double thick tape here. And I'm just using it uh, around the edges and then a little bit of support down lower. I want to make sure that I don't put any foam tape where the light unit itself is. I can peel that up and get it just in the right place. I am using some of the world's best foam tape here, which is repositionable at first. So that's nice. I can move it around a little bit until I get it in exactly the right spot. It'll become permanent overnight. And then to decorate this and make it a little extra fancy, I'm going to put a little yellow candle flame gem on top. The, f the light will glow right through any of the gems that don't have like a silver backing. So you can light up all kinds of things. I light up Rudolph's nose for Christmas cards, that kind of stuff. But for candles, I thought yellow uh, candle flames would be fun. And then I also put one of our little clay candlesticks underneath because... What a cute card, right? <laughs> Here's a few more ideas, things you can uh, make with one lights. Um, another birthday candle here, just because I love it. That one I didn't light up a gem, just the vellum itself. They're fun for masculine cards, especially guy cards. Guys go wow when they see the lights, right? I do like to light up all kinds of different things. The flash on a camera is a great, great excuse to use a light. And then, of course, more birthday cards. I can't wait to see what you will make with a one light. Make sure that you tag us on social media at Pear Blossom Press.